Hello everybody and welcome to the report. Today we are looking at monkeypox. The WHO declares rapidly spreading monkeypox outbreak a global health emergency. The rare designation means the WHO now views the outbreak as a significant enough threat to global health that a coordinated international response is needed. So what is monkeypox? Monkeypox is related to smallpox and cases are usually found in West and Central Africa, with the virus not often spreading elsewhere. That is why outbreaks reported in multiple countries, including the UK and across Europe, caused, caused alarm among, among public health experts. The disease, which was first discovered in monkeys, it is usually mild but can cause severe illness in some cases. What are the symptoms? Most monkeypox patients experience only fever, body aches, chills, and fatigue, but some may develop a rash and lesions on the face and hands that can spread to other parts of the body. The rash can look like chickenpox or syphilis, and scabs can form, which then fall off. Most people recover within a few weeks. The incubation period of monkeypox is usually from 6 to 13 days, but can range from 5 to 21 days. Secondary infections, eye infection, visual loss, scarring, and there's a couple of uh, terms I cannot pronounce. Uh, sepsis is one of them. The onset is usually between, as I said, five and 21 days post exposure. And most people do recover. The declaration of the monkeypox outbreak as a global emergency is recognition of the need for worldwide efforts to investigate and prevent further spread of the disease, UK health experts have said. The World Health Organization said on Saturday that the spread in more than 70 countries is an extraordinary situation. So basically, uh, why are we seeing more of these uh, illnesses um, coming into the world that you know we never saw before? We did see, but they were extremely rare. We're seeing more of it now. Uh, has COVID somehow caused uh, this to uh, mutate a certain way? Has COVID interact with other viruses? Uh, to make them uh, more uh, transmissible. Uh, so we're seeing now more illnesses uh, that we didn't see before now starting to pop up in the world because this is not just uh, in one country or two countries or a few countries. This is all over the world now, but primarily in Europe for some reason. Why Europe? Why are most cases in Europe? So let's keep moving on here. The Biden administration declared monkeypox a public health emergency after WHO declared disease a global emergency. U.S. cases soar to more than 2,800. On Friday, U.S. cases of monkeypox topped 2,800 and more than 16,000 global. Now, of course, relatively speaking, that's still low. Uh, but it's still a concern. I mean, we saw polio in the UK, uh, I think just about a month ago. And then some people had to get the polio vaccine. Uh, so, you know, is this just uh, a one-off? You know, is this just something that was going to happen anyway? Are we linking it to COVID? So essentially, you know, is there a correlation? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, as monkeypox cases soar into the thousands, the Biden administration is considering 
whether to declare the outbreak a public health emergency after the World Health Organization on Thursday said the virus has become a global problem. So basically, what does this mean for the general population? Is this only going to affect a certain um, population? Uh, or is this going to be like COVID that can affect anybody or mostly everyone? That is the big question here. How big will this go? And let's hope that these diseases get stamped out over time. And you know, it's been a very, very scary couple of years lately. I mean, we've seen all types of crises in this world. Um, you know, from uh, COVID um, and then the economy um, and then monkeypox and then we saw some cases of polio. I'm sure there's a few others out there. Oh, the war in Russia and Ukraine. So it seems like it's never ended. It seems like every year something new happens. So comment below. Tell me what you think. So that's it for now. And uh, thank you for watching. And until the next time, see you later.